alchemy is is creating something of value out of base materials. It's it's you know, one and one makes a million. If you put things together, in this case, you know, silver halide holographic film and laser light and a couple of shadowy objects thrown in and wash them through some chemicals, and you get this window that bends light into not just a rainbow, but you know, a, a world that you can look into and, and see shapes and, and project ideas or unlock ideas in your head, images that you wouldn't think of otherwise. In a sense, something otherworldly, because this isn't a physical object reflecting light that's in a room. It's light that's transformed in a way that doesn't happen naturally except through the most beautiful things in nature, like butterfly wings and, and all these things that we marvel at. So when I'm thinking about subject matter, since I work in shadowgrams, I really look around the world and look at objects that uh, have a good shadow to them, a good three-dimensional shadow to them, and I think about how that might work. And then that's sort of the starting point. Put that into a hologram. It's like, you know, set up the stage, put that on there and see what it does. And if something comes out of that that I didn't expect, I go from there in making a hologram from it because that's how you create something that hasn't been created or imagined before. What I do here is um, basically slump glass, which is just heating it up over forms, and uh, the glass takes the shape of the form, but it has a great aspect to it when you put light through it that's similar to holography where the glass, because it has uh, different thicknesses, bends light sort of like a lens. And then when I combine these pieces with the holograms, you get sort of two different levels of light bending and color manipulation. You know, depending on what angle you look at it, what angle of view, um, side to side, you're seeing something different from the person next to you, and you're seeing something different from what you saw yesterday when you looked at it, and what you'll see tomorrow when you look at it. And to me, that has so much to do with how we consider dreams and dreaming, because to me, you know, in my experience of dreaming, it's a processing of what goes on in, in life. The, the experience of living in Prague and seeing you know, how a different society values creative people or creativity in anybody